amazing, huh? Impressive. Victor Larkil, Let's Adopt International, and welcome to the World Animal Awareness Channel. In this channel, you see some of our stories, some of our rescue stories in a complete form, from the beginning to end. It's an animal world out there. Watch the World Animal Awareness Society channel and feel right at home. Come, sit, subscribe, and stay a while. Hi. Behind every animal rescue, there's usually a very powerful human story. Today, I'm bringing you something that is going to touch your heart. 11 years ago, a little girl rescued a dog from the street. It was a tiny puppy. She called him Tombo. 11 years later, Tombo finds himself in a terrible situation, and the family cannot do anything to help. You're about to watch one of our most moving videos, the rescue of Tombo. He has never gone with anyone new before. This is my mother. Hola. I used to wake up every four hours to bottle feed him. Now I have bone cancer, a sister who has fallen ill, and a situation that doesn't allow me to take care of Tombo. Now I have to go to the hospital. I have a radiotherapy session. How did you find him? What's his story? I found him on Halloween one year in a field abandoned, playing with some girls. My mother has always taken care of all his needs. Can't your aunt keep him? No, my aunt is blind. She's 78 years old. We are going to take him to the hospital, right now. Perform some tests and remove the tumor. We will take him to our shelter. It's not like any other shelter. It's a beautiful house where a family lives and there are other dogs. The place is wonderful. You will see him because I will be sending you videos. It's very important to me that you come to see him and it is also important to him. Continue your fight against cancer and take care of your sister. Anna, listen to me. I will take care of him as if he were my own dog. Thank you. I will send you a video from the hospital tonight. I imagine in two or three days we will operate on him. I will keep sending you videos of how he is doing, so you are reassured. Vale. Vale, perfecto. Eh, vale. Eh, de otro lado ya. Estamos en contacto. 
¿vale? Vas a estar orgulloso de haber hecho esto, ¿vale? Y vamos a ver si, si le podemos quitar eso. Amazing, huh? Impressive. When I saw him, I didn't expect it and thought he was carrying a ball in his mouth. Shall we do the blood test first? Yes, first we are going to check his overall condition and then come up with a plan. What's up, Tombo? You've had a good ride from Valencia. You have just seen a woman cry. She has bone cancer. Her bones are brittle, so she breaks them all the time. Her sister is blind and she's handicapped and her daughter lives far away from them. There's nothing they can do to help Tombo. Furthermore, they cannot take him back because they are unable to walk him, they are unable to give him the life he deserves. Tombo is now at our hospital and he needs our help. Please, if you can, donate. Help us save him. Thank you. Tombo, as you know, has a tumor on the jaw. We saw it yesterday. In that video, I explained the situation, the tumor, the tragedy surrounding his family and the reasons why he has to be given up. Tombo was rescued when he was just a little puppy by a girl that was 11 at the time. She took the dog home with all this, you know, beautiful, hopeful innocence of kids. And the mother said, yes, of course, you can keep it. The family was going in those days through really difficult times and I'm not going to explain you exactly what happened because this is private, but let me tell you, difficult, very difficult. Years pass, 11 years later, the mother has bone cancer. She's going through radiotherapy. You can see it in her face. This woman is very ill, very, very ill. As a matter of fact, and that woman is also taking care of her sister who is blind and bedridden. Now, there is very little money in that place. They live with a meager pension from the state. And when I say meager, it's meager. The daughter is now 23 years old. And she has two kids. And she lives in another village. And she has two dogs and a cat. Okay? And also, very little money. Very, very little. It was explained in the video. I made an effort conveying empathy, conveying understanding, 
my body language in the video couldn't be more understanding and more compassionate. It was all there. It was a beautiful video. You only had to watch it. But then guess what happened? Well, then I started receiving comments. People judging the family. I don't know, maybe they didn't see the video. Maybe they didn't watch it properly. I don't know. But there were a lot of people judging the family. And how can you judge a woman that is dying of bone cancer? You can see it in her face. It's completely... She's been eaten by cancer. And how can you judge a girl that's 23 years old, mother of two, and she's crying? She's so sad because she's giving up her dog. Empathy, compassion. Isn't that what we are all about? Instead of judging, why they didn't take the dog to the vet? They didn't talk to the vet before because they didn't take him to the vet because they didn't have any money. Well, but why didn't she ask for help be earlier? Help who? Do you think there are many organizations that let's adopt helping people that, uh, that have a problem with their dogs? In what world do you live? It doesn't happen. But it doesn't happen in your country either. I receive letters every day from people that cannot afford medical treatment for their dogs. And some of those cases are heartbreaking and they're so far away. We try to help as much as we can. We just helped the other day a woman from Peru, Ecuador. We help people in the States all the time. And I know after this video, I'm going to receive a barrage of e emails from people asking me for help for the animals. And I will help if I can. And if I cannot, I cannot. But when you have a case in front of your eyes and these people are crying and you can see it and you can see the dog, he loves them. And the dog has had a good life. He's 11 years old, 12 years old now, Tombo. He's in good shape other than that tumor. And people watch the video and judge and judge so harshly that the girl calls me this morning, nearly crying, and tells me, how can she make a donation? Because she wants to help her own dog. And here we are with a YouTube community of nearly two million people. And no kidding, we are one million in this channel. And we have nearly 700,000 in the Spanish channel. And it's beautiful and it's vibrant and it's amazing. And this community helps the animal and save lives every day. But you know what happened? The moment in the story there is a human involved, this beautiful community of compassionate souls turns into a community of judges. And it's so sad. And I had to listen to this girl today explaining me her most intimate details of her life and why she couldn't take that dog to the vet. And I was thinking, my God, but anybody could understand that yesterday. Anybody, anybody could see. But the fact is that no, not everybody did. And then something else happens. Even those that understood, even those that understood didn't help him. Tombo's case is, I think it's the least successful case in the history of Let's Adopt. We raised 800 euros, about $900, among all of us. I hadn't seen anything like this since the days when I was starting this rescue. And then I tried to analyze why this happens. The video is beautifully shot. The music is nice keeps people engaged, it's sad. The story is heartbreaking. But in this story, there's not only one dog being abused by a bad person, it is one dog, and then there is a family that struggle to help. And whenever there is a scenario like this, this community doesn't respond as it should. It's like we have a separate bias. Whenever there is a dog, that has had any kind of contact with another human, that's it, that's the human responsibility, that's, that's it. And it doesn't matter if the person is dying of bone cancer, it doesn't matter. 
doesn't matter if she is nearly 80 years old. doesn't matter. You know, the lady only weighs 30 kilos. Do the math. Change it to pounds. I don't know. I I'm, I'm too pissed off to make the calculation. 30 kilos. She's dying. And when you face a dying woman that has had a horrible life, a life of violence and abuse by her husband, and I'm going to leave it here, then people judge. Well, they should have taken the dog to the vet earlier. What earlier? That is not a long developing tumor. That tumor is here today, six months ago wasn't here. It was fast. This is a family that is barely alive after going through COVID. That during the COVID times, they just, they were just there hand to mouth. They didn't have anything. And there are two kids involved. And there are two doggies rescued. And there's another cat rescued. Don't we have, what is our capacity for empathy and compassion? What is it, what happened to us? Not to all of us. This community has wonderful people. I tell you, whenever the case involves a dog being abused by someone, we are there. But if the case becomes a little bit more, little bit more nuanced or complicated, if the dog hasn't been beaten up by anybody, if he was supposed to be under the responsibility of someone, even if that someone is dying of bone cancer, bone cancer is one of the most terrible kind of cancers that you can have. Google it. Check it out. Feel the pain, feel the desperation of this family. And then look at the dog. He's well cared for. He's beautiful, he's loving, he's so nice. We can do better. The fact that we are all animal lovers doesn't mean that we have to hate people. And I've seen this before so many times. My kids coming on video, wow, people jumping at my kids. What's the problem? I say it all the time in the comments. I love animals more than humans. I communicate with dogs more than with people. And yesterday, people should have said, I failed to see the emergency in a woman dying of bone cancer. Late stages. Last radiotherapy sessions. And then there's nothing else they can do. And in the meantime, there's a doggy there. A doggy that they just asked me for help just three days ago. I rushed. I literally rushed. Because I could see there was a problem there. This was not your typical story. This was not a family that wanted to get rid of their dog like you have in your cities. Just go to a kill shelter. This, I mean, after, the other day I was watching a video. And in, I think it was Detroit. There was a queue of people, a queue of more than 50, 60 people on a long line to give their dogs to be killed. And this family didn't do that. This family held in the hope that somebody will help them. And this somebody is you. Through me. So come on. This is a beautiful story. But it's one that deserves reflection. I mean, you should reflect. How come I judge in a case like this so harshly? We can do better. We must do better. This is Tombo. He's at the hospital and tomorrow you will see a proper update. He's gonna be operated. Please, if you can, donate. Help us save him. And stop thinking about the old woman with cancer. It's so heartbreaking. We can do better. Thank you. Thank you for watching yesterday's video. Reading the comment made me feel proud again. 
This community now understands what we are all about. It's about compassion, it's about taking action, and it's not about judging anybody. Today I'm going to show you the second part of Tombo's video. His arrival to the hospital, and you're going to see in more detail the nature of the tumor that is taking over his, his face, his jaw. Please have a look at this. This is Tombo. He seems very fearful. Yes, he's fearful, but he doesn't bite. It seems that the tumour is protruding from the skin of his chin. Yes, you can see his jaw, so it's coming from the skin. Do you see? From the side of the lip, it's a bit loose. It's soft and doesn't hurt. It seems like a hernia. What are you applying? Lidocaine gel. For when we insert the needle so it doesn't hurt. Very good, Tombo. You are relaxing now. He has a mass in the anus. I think it could be a hernia. Yes, it could be a hernia, but there's a chance it could be something more. He is 11 years old. At least it doesn't hurt. Let's hope it doesn't bleed. Let's examine him. These are the cells. They are lined up. It seems like they form a mesh. And you can't tell where they start or end. This could be a basal cell tumour, an adenoma. I don't think it's glandular because there are no fat vacuoles. The cells are more compact. But it is an epithelial tumour. It doesn't seem malignant. Let's see if we can remove it all. Mm. 
Be careful, this will hurt him, it's not very pleasant. It's a hernia. It's a bit strange because it usually occurs in castrated animals, but he's old. All things considered, it doesn't seem too bad. The tumour is more cumbersome, but the hernia is more complicated. The hernia is not a concern, but it's complicated. Yes, because sometimes it can reoccur due to mesh dehiscence. The lymph nodes seem normal. I'm going to puncture it because if we see the same cells, we need to be cautious. This is the blood test. The erythrocytes are at 5 million, the normal is approximately 5.6 million. The hematocrit is also a bit low, as is the haemoglobin, the rest is normal. Regarding biochemistry, it's almost all normal, including the thyroid. Leishmaniasis is negative, and the 4DX+, plus, which includes anaplasmosis, heartworm, etc., is also all negative. Next week, we'll remove the tumour. Okay. Tom was at the hospital receiving the best possible veterinary care. He's going to have a CT scan to check if the tumor is affecting his jaw. He's also going to have a visit to the cardiologist to make sure that he can go through anesthesia and the surgery. I'm sure everything is going to be okay, but we need your help. After watching yesterday's video, I'm glad that everyone understands that this is about Tombo and about Tombo only. Please, if you can, donate. Help us save his life. And if you donate, Please write a note, I donated. Tell the world that you're part of this beautiful rescue and this beautiful effort to save this dog that has given so much love in his life and now he needs us to help him. Please donate. Help us save Tombo. Thank you. Tombo was rescued last week. It was a terrible case, big tumor on the jaw, but it's not, it's not only an, an, an animal case, it's also a human case. There's a big tragedy there behind. This community has rallied both around Tombo and around the family. Finally, we all understand the reasons, and finally, help is coming without judgment. Now, the first thing we did when Tombo arrived to the hospital was, of course, we looked at the tumor, we did complete blood work, but we noticed that there was something wrong with his heart. He has a heart murmur. Yesterday, Tombo had an appointment with a cardiologist. Have a look at this, Tombo. Hola. Ven aquí. Hello, Hola, Tombo. Tombo. He's bleeding. Yes, the tumour bleeds when he makes sudden movements. Oh my, it looks bad. Poor thing. Let's see if we can remove it soon. He's so scared. Look how he's trembling. Come on, let's go. Can you give me a bit of serum to clean this up? Come on, let's go. He's been fasting, right? Yes. Hope it goes well, Tombo. Go ahead. I always open the door for you, right? What did you inject him with? The active ingredient is butorphanol. Nobody's going to hurt you. Don't be afraid.
We're going to take off the harness. We need to lay him on his side. He got a bit nervous the day we did the x-rays too. The murmur is because his mitral valve is slightly failing. There's regurgitation. The good news is that the heart does not seem to be very enlarged, so anesthesia shouldn't be a problem, as it would be in an early stage. The left atrium looks good. It's not enlarged. We're going to turn him over. I'll release the clamps first. Then we'll clean him up a bit. I'm so looking forward to getting that tumor off him. He's realized that we're not doing anything bad to him and he's calmed down a bit. Very good, Tombo. You've behaved very well. Maury, what do you see at first glance? Can you explain it to us? Mitral and tricuspid insufficiency in a preclinical phase. It would be in stage B1, which would not need medication at the moment. So, although a strong murmur is heard, the heart is not enlarged and does not need treatment for now. In about six months, we'll do a checkup and see how it goes. Anyway, I have to measure everything to be sure, but at first glance, that seems to be all. So, there's no problem with giving him anesthesia for the surgery? There would be no problem at all. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, we're leaving. Look how he's trembling, the poor thing. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Thank you. Goodbye. Tombo has a hard murmur, and we must be careful when it comes to anesthesia. And we have, we have to treat it with respect, and we have to treat it with caution. But other than that, he's fine. Tombo is going to go through surgery on Monday. Today is Friday. He's going to spend the weekend calm and getting ready for the big day. In the meantime, please, if you can, donate. Everything is ready for surgery. Now we need your help. Please donate. Help us save Tombo. Thank you. I just want to give you a brief update on what's Tombo's situation and what is going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow we have an incredibly busy day. If at the end of the day I just fall dead, just don't be surprised because it's going to be crazy. 
Tomorrow, around 10.30, Spanish time, Toco, Togo. Tombo. <laughs> Tombo will go into surgery. I will be there, together with my brother. My brother will be inside recording the surgery, but most probably so will I. Um, just before we enter, I will make a live 10, 15 minutes announcing how the preparation is going, how everything is, how everything is going. I can tell you right now that the tumor has been growing quite fast in the last week. So we're going to get him ready for surgery. You will be witnessing this and then we will go into surgery. I will not be recording the live surgery. I don't think so. Instead, I'll be taking the car and going on another rescue that has to happen during the day. It's a kitty. There's a chance that I might do it. There's a chance that my brother will go. But it's a kitty that has been kicked that they have broken the diaphragm and all his intestines are up surrounding the heart. Now you may ask me, how do I know this? It's because somebody took the kitty, took him to the vet. The vet said that was the problem. And because they didn't have a foster home, they released the cat onto the streets in that condition. So we'll be doing these two things at the same time. <clears throat> I have no idea how we're going to do this tomorrow, but it's going to be. <laughs> and then at 4.30, I have to pick up my kids from school. <laughs> so that's quite something. Um, so that's Tombo's final announcement of a surgery before the surgery takes place. If any of you has not donated yet, I will ask you to please do so. Do that. The link is here. My colleague Linda is going to drop the link and I'll be happy if you did. I must say that uh, Tombo's case started really bad. It was uh, really disappointing. But then little by little, people got to understand what, was the, what, what were the circumstances of this rescue. Um, <clears throat> so many things in my head, in my head at the moment, that I'm trying to put some order into it. Um, yes, Jill, yeah, it's growing. It is growing very fast. This is why also the family didn't really have any time to react. The only thing they could do was to seek for help desperately. Now, um, Stombo, that's the new kitty that we're rescuing. We are also having some issues with Peter at the hospital. We're having another blood transfusion because the, the, the anemia keeps on going down. So he loses hematocrit. Now this is gonna be the second blood transfusion that we made. And we're sending the case to the University of Barcelona for deeper study. We're gonna, we're gonna go deeper into this. We need to figure out what is, what is happening with Peter. Um, it seems that uh, the cases that we've had with leishmaniasis in the last two years, they've given us more complications than we expected with uh, pneumonia. Our friend Jorge is on the case. There may be, who knows, maybe there may even be a mutation in the, in the way the parasites affect dogs nowadays. There's something that is not right there. It has changed quite a lot from the last, over the last five years. Anyway, we'll see. Now it's Tombo. So Tombo is gonna go into surgery tomorrow, 10 o'clock, 10.30 Spanish time. If you have not donated to him, please do that now. The link is there, Linda is dropping it. If you donate, please just, just say that you donated. Let's make the world know that this community is incredible and that when we say we're gonna do something, we're gonna help an animal, we do. I'm sick and tired of seeing YouTube video channels and Facebook channels and Instagram channels saying that they're going to help the animal, but then they don't. I have, I see no evidence that these kitties on this, on the fields or somewhere, they've been helped. 
I just know, I mean, there are videos of the kitty there being whatever, but then I don't see the animal being operated. I rarely ever see the animal uh, recovering or rehomed. Sometimes I see a similar cat put back on the streets again. But it's really strange and really annoying. Thank you, Lack. Thank you. Kerry, thank you very much. Linda is going to drop the link again. She's going to be doing that during this conversation. So please, if any of you would like to help him, please do that. Tomorrow, just come on the live if you can. If not, just come later, say hello, and fingers crossed, because... Uh, Istanbul is going to need it. I really hope that everything goes well. That's, uh, that's all I can say. I promise you that's, you know, we're just going to do our, our absolute best as we always do. The surgery shouldn't have complications. I mean, there's always a risk of complications. I mean, the tumor is large. It's not, the area is not so difficult. We're going to have to do some plastic surgery. To, to recover some of the tissue being lost there. Um, but other than that, it's just uh, business as usual <laughs> in the surgery room. Um, Isidore will take care of this very well. I'm sure he will, and uh, will be there watching. Now, announcement. There's some, uh, some good news, I think. We're growing. We are we're seeking for a new uh, director for the for the the great home the great, the great house. Um, since Maribel left, she has left a vacuum at the place, and we need to have someone in there that organizes everything. Now we have some pretty specific requirements. We need that person to be a vet or a vet tech. We need someone that is not only beautiful and great with animals, but also that understands the complex medical situation and medical conditions that these animals have. So I am saying this here on the international channel, just so you know. Now, we need somebody that already lives in Valencia, that speaks Spanish, and that speaks perfect English as well. Now, Maribel was great. I love her to death. But she, she didn't speak a word of, of, of English. Now, nowadays we can sort this out with dubbing in our videos is great, but I want this person to understand and speak some English. This is an international organization and we can have a team that only speaks Spanish. I mean, this is, uh, this is obvious. It's difficult in Spain. Uh, people don't tend to speak any other language than English. Sometimes they don't even speak Spanish well. But anyway, that's, that's, that's another story. So, fingers crossed for, for Tombo. I'm also gonna meet Tombo's family tomorrow, no. <laughs> tomorrow I have no time to do anything. But uh, after tomorrow, and uh, I'll tell them about my plan to help them, and I will keep you posted. Winston is at the great home, at the great house, uh, having a great time. I mean, really, this dog is just having a great time. He's looking for a home. If any of you is interested, write to me. However, however, I think we have found a beautiful home for Winston, but he's not completely sure yet. I mean, I haven't got confirmation from Linda. Linda, if the, if the, if the adoption is confirmed, let me know, but I'm not sure. Um, we found someone really special. And I really hope that it works, that it works out, because this this will be an adoption that in a way will anyway. I don't want to. I don't want to mix any anybody. Now, how is Aitana? Aitana, Aitana, the girl. Good. Right now, she must be having dinner with her boyfriend. Uh, I hope so. There you go. Confirm. There you go, Linda. Winston is going to the UK. Confirm. That, that's a baby. You see, I'm, I'm the last one to know. I'm the, la, I'm the last one to Confirm. Winston is going to the UK. Uh, no, joking. Of course I know. But I didn't know it was confirmed. Linda has been handling the details. 
And just let me tell you that it's a beautiful place. Let me tell you that it's a beautiful person that is adopting him. And uh, it's going to Greater Manchester. Manchester. Manchester, the place in the UK with the easiest accent of it all. I'm so happy. <laughs> no, really, trust me, he's going to go to an amazing place. Really, really nice. And the person that is adopting him is truly exceptional. And I'm so glad that she's adopting him. This is just one of these uh, rescues that, that will teach many people a lesson. A good lesson, like, like, like a, it's going to be a good story. It makes sense. Maybe, maybe not on paper, but you'll see. It's going to be really great. I'm so excited about this. So you will, uh, you'll see. Take care of myself. Okay, I, I will. I mean, I'm, maybe I'm not shaving today. I mean, it's the end of the day on a Sunday. Uh, today I was lazy. I've been at home with the kids. And I look a little bit rough. I know. There you go. This is like that. So, I'm so happy. Thank you, Linda. Winston adopted in the UK. And uh, tomorrow is tombo surgery. Once again, let me drop the, the link for Tombo's donation. And tombo is not here with me, but you have seen the videos, you know the story, and you know he needs help. Oh God, I have so many things in the head. And I have to talk to his family and we have to set this thing up. And tomorrow the kitty. God. So crazy. So crazy. Anyway, Tombo, see you tomorrow. I'll be there live from the hospital. Thank you, Linda. Again, as always, Winston, way to go. They're going to Manchester. Oh, well, okay. He's going to have a good life. I promise you that. Okay. See you tomorrow. Take care. Yes, we have an amazing community. Really great. It's really great. I'm so happy. Marisol, see you in the other channel. Go to Let's Adopt Spain. I'm going to talk about, about jobs about the, the people that we need to be working with us. We are looking for a, for a, for a team director, a team leader for the great house that, uh, that fills the gap that Maribel left. And we're also gonna hire some helpers. The team needs to expand, needs to, needs to grow. So we're gonna get a bunch of new characters if we find them. <laughs> so they can employment here in Spain. So hopefully we'll be successful with that. Let's see. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow morning, okay? Good morning, Gyro. We're going to remove that and bottle it. Now he's on soft cooked food, but he's still thin. Does he have problems when pooping? No.
First, we focus on the tumour. Yes, the tumour and histopathology. We will also remove that wart. This dog is clever. You're not going to leave, Tombo. I think he's still uncomfortable because everything is new for him. Yes, he's nervous. You're a clever boy. Yes, he is. I think that he will change when the tumour is removed, and he'll be less afraid. The tumour covers the entire chin. goodness, like half a palm of a hand. We have created a flap because the tumours was attached to a large piece of skin, practically the entire width of the jaw. It should heal well. He's not very happy, we'll see him later. 
No vale la idea. Tombo's surgery has turned out to be a resounding success. Now, a new chapter begins in his touching story, which we will share with all of you on this channel. It is thanks to your collaboration that we have managed to make a significant difference in his life. Our commitment remains the rescue and salvation of more animals in need. Your support is crucial. Donate and help us continue saving lives. Thank you. Good morning. Look how good the wound looks. It's very clean and very well done. He is trembling. Very good, Tombo. Poor thing, I'm going to take him to the great house to relax there. Everyone is waiting for him there. Tombo, Tombo. Tombo is so affectionate. Today we bring you a heartwarming update on Tombo, Murphy and Figaro. Tombo is being discharged today after undergoing surgery to remove a tumor from his jaw. His recovery is progressing well, however, he is still quite frightened. We hope that he can find comfort and peace at our rescue center, the Great House. He looks like a different dog, doesn't he? They also removed the wart he had. They've made him look gorgeous. Has his mouth open, he usually didn't open his mouth. He was always with his mouth closed. Weeks ago, we performed what I believe is one of our most consequential rescues, the rescue of Tombo, a dog that lived with the same family for 11 years. And after 11 years, the family contacted me and asked for help. They told me about their circumstances. The mother had bone cancer. She was about to die. They couldn't take care of him. They couldn't take him for walks. They had no money. The situation was really, really terrible. I told you the story, and so many of you judged the family so harshly, without knowing the circumstances. I tried to explain, and people understood, but still, this left a feeling in me that this family, what's going to happen to them? We can do something. We are nearly one million people. We can change their lives forever. So today, I'm going to show you the reality of Tombo's family. Have a look at this, it's very hard, but please watch it. Hi, 
Today we're gonna have a beautiful day, very, very special. We're now going to pick up Tombo's owner, the family, remember? Tombo was given to us by his family because they just couldn't take care of him. And there was a very clear uh, reason. The lady that you're gonna meet today has bone cancer. I'm sorry to say this, but her days are counted. And they just couldn't give that dog the quality of life and the care he deserved. So it was a very painful decision for, for them to give him to us, but they did it because I assured them that we were gonna take good care of him and that I would let them know how everything is going. So today, after Tombo surgery, he's doing better. He's at a great house. They were gonna pick him up and they're gonna come and see Tombo for the first time. Also, at the end of the video, stay, because we're gonna do something very special. We're gonna try to help this family overcome this terrible situation and have a fresh start in life. Let's see how it goes. Hola, estamos abajo. Ah, vale. ¿Cómo estás? Hola, Vela. Hola. Uy, tengo unas ganas. Hola. Hola. ¿Estás tomada por arriba? Sí, mira, pasa. Hola. Hola. Buenas. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo estás? Está? Hola. Hola a todos. Hola. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Ya he conocido. Bien. ¿Cómo estás? Esta es mi tía. Ah, bien. Ah, es una tía. Encantada. ¿Qué es la señora que está? ¿Cómo está? Muy bien. Aquí estamos de visita. Paquita, this is the guy who is taking care of the dog. Buenos días, Paquita, ¿cómo está usted? Buenos días, ¿cómo está? Muy bien. Hemos venido para echarles una mano. A ver, el perrito está muy bien. You have to tell her in her ear. El perrito está muy bien, señora Paquita. No lo has hecho de menos. Sí, bueno, a veces me pregunta por ustedes. Hoy su, su hermana le va a ver. She asks if he's being fed. I say, of course he's being fed. I've seen the chicken you gave him. Hombre. Muy bien. Tú así el perro. Claro, era imposible, ¿no? Que no podía vivir. ¿Cómo iba a vivir? ¿Qué va? Si no podéis vivir ni, ni vosotros. ¿Qué va? Here the dog couldn't stay anymore. Besides, I can't take him out for walks. He's so strong, he pulls me. Well, undergoing checkups. Next month, I have to get a test and then go to more oncology appointments. Bone cancer. It all started with breast cancer. I recovered very well from breast cancer. They gave me chemo, radiotherapy, and I was very well. But the oncologist explained that over the years, breast cancer attacks the bones. It has attacked my bone, and they are very fragile. El brazo. Se le rompió. Del codo aquí, hasta aquí. Es verdad, que ahí le pusieron una placa. Pero es que luego se me rompió aquí. <coughs> y aquí tengo otra. Son, son prótesis. Claro, claro, claro. Ahora tenía que poner placas. Y cada vez me operan. Madre mía. Every time, surgery, radiotherapy and all that. Radio y todo. Madre mía. That's my life. But I handle it very well, eh? Sí. Usted se le ve, Yo se le ve, se le ve. Se ve con la sonrisa y un ánimo. Sí, sí, la verdad. ¿Verdad? El sentido del humor que no se pierda. ¿eh? No, no, no. When they told me I had cancer, I said that cancer wouldn't beat me. They said I like that, be positive, and that's how I go on. I am in a lot of pain. I take morphine. Now they've increased the dose. Es muy doloroso el cáncer, huesos. Yes, it hurts a lot, a lot. But it is better with the painkillers. Claro, no, no hay curación. Paliativo. Su hija me explicó, me explicó un poquito de su historia con con su marido. ¿Qué pasó con él? ¿Qué pasó con él? Buah, buah. At first, everything was very beautiful. We loved each other a lot. 
Then he started associating with people he shouldn't. Then it was one beating after another. In front of my daughter, it was a disaster. Until one day he grabbed my neck and I said, no more, that's it. My daughter and I went to the police in our pajamas. I reported him and they issued a restraining order. But even so, he made our lives impossible. By phone, he said everything. He insulted me, came here. The civil guard had to come constantly, my daughter crying. I raised her alone. She's an angel. Her father made her life impossible. Yes, three times for drug and alcohol issues. He had all the bad vices. I don't even want to hear his name. You are angels. You have appeared in my life like an angel. <laughs> I can't, I can't leave my sister unattended. I wish I could. Vamos a echar la mano lo que podamos, ¿vale? Muy bien, cariño. Muy bien. Ay. Por favor, cuídese mucho. Sí, sí. Que a una hora no, hay muchas cosas que dependen de usted. Tengo que estar fuerte. Yo soy ahora el pilar de la casa. Yo soy el pilar de la casa. Soy el pilar. Si me uno, yo se hunde todo. He was very happy here. He was like a family member. For us, he was not just a dog. For my sister, he was like her son. Her dog could not lack anything. And he slept in bed with her. She would say, cover the dog, he's cold. And I would answer, he's not cold, Paquita. And she would reply, turn on the heater, he must be cold. Look, this is the blanket we covered him with. I don't want to throw it away because it reminds me of Tombo. Give him kisses and a big hug from me. Tu madre cuando ha dicho que ella es la columna y la fuerza de todo y me lo dice con esa fragilidad me ha dejado muerto. ¿Cómo te manejas tú? Porque tienes dos niños, dos perros, que los he visto además en foto, sí. un gato. Sí. ¿Cómo te manejas con todo eso? Pues I do what I can. I wish my mother was like she was a few years ago when she could support me more. But even now she does what she can and helps with the kids when she can. Hola. Hola, Amparo. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Qué tal?
I got the others. Lo primero que hicimos. ¡Qué guay! <risa> Se le tiene que caer todo eso. Claro. Y le volverá a cicatrizar. They told me you might go to Germany. What are you going to do there? <laughs> That's what I thought. I hope they understand him when they talk to him. En cuatro días se acostumbran a las a las cosas básicas. Sí, verdad. La entonación es lo más importante. Thank you very much for taking such good care of him. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Today this channel has reached 1 million people, 1 million followers. I want to use the combined strength of all these people to change the life of this family. For 11 years, this family has gone through hell, absolute hell, but they never gave up on Tombo. In the end, it was the end of the world for them. And we were there to help the dog, Tombo. We saved his life. He's now being adopted. He's going to go to an amazing place, an amazing family. But what's going to happen to this family? We can do something amazing today. This is why I have set up a special Patreon page for them. I'm going to help them run, run it. I will, help, I will help them provide updates. And I want you to be part of it. Many of you are already Patreons of me, of my, of my community. So I want you to join them. Because I tell you, this is going to make you so proud. You've seen in the video, I cried. Those were real tears. My heart just broke seeing the strength of that woman telling me I have to be strong because I am the pillar of this family. We're an amazing community. We can change their lives forever. Please join them on Patreon today. Thank you. It's an animal world out there. Watch the World Animal Awareness Society channel and feel right at home. Come, sit, subscribe, and stay a while.